Okay, here we are in Christian Women Affiliate, the community, and I wanted to walk you through really super quickly. I have added Flickr integration to our community where you can grab your pictures so easily, integrate them into the pictures here on CWA. So you go to your profile page, which would be going to my page for you. It would be your page and your picture, obviously. So come on down, scroll down, find where your pictures are at. Mine are all at the bottom because I actually never use them. But now I will because I really do Instagram. I love Instagram. You, most of you guys know that I'm a huge Mac Apple person and I love using the app Instagram and that integrates into Flickr. So I usually send them to that account. So this would be a nice way for me to automatically it's nine ha, add pictures to my profile here on CWA. So let's see how we do it. Let's just come over. You have choices when adding photos, which you maybe already knew. And you also can share things through Facebook from here as well. So let's click on add photos. What's going to happen is the first time you go to do it, um, you're either going to add pictures the old way, um, any pictures you have on your computer or whatever, you can do that. You can see the different formats it allows. And you can also try the different uploader if it works better for you. Uh, you can also use your private email address, which I'm not going to use that. I'll have to change it now that I've put it in a video. But that would post pictures to my wall. And then here is the Flickr one. So we're going to actually do that. I'm going to click Add, and I've never done it. This is my first time. So let's watch it in action. It's flipping us over. And we just scroll down. It says, to get your photos from Flickr, you first need to allow Christian Women Affiliate to link your Flickr account. Yes, that's a must. Nothing happens when you do this. It's just like through Facebook Connect and stuff. Um, we don't get any of your information or anything. So you can feel just at ease with doing that. So here we go. And I'm already signed into my Flickr account. That's a hint to do. Um, and don't laugh at that picture up there because that picture of me is like forever. Well, not forever. Hey, it's not that bad. But it is a while ago. It's like four years ago when I first got online. So anyway, it's going to ask you these questions. Um, you know, just read it. It's really basically, Flickr is a huge network, obviously, so you don't have to be concerned. And this is directly with Flickr and Ning. And you can see our little picture here to let you know. All right, so I'm going to authorize it. You have to do that to be able to do it. And so then what happens is, let's find out because I haven't done it yet. Here we go. Get my 10 most academic choices. Get my 10 most recent pictures. Actually, um, I think I'll do, who do I want to do a whole bunch? Let's just start with 10. No, because then it might not let me change it. I actually like to, like to bring them in. I like to have my pictures going, I think. Um, get photos from a set. Actually, I'm going to grab, I don't know if that's really where I am, so we'll just leave that. If you have an album, if you have an album set up, that's where you could do something like that, I'm sure. Or if you've tagged your pictures. See, these are all choices. Get all my photos from Flickr. Get descriptions too. This will double the time it takes. I do like that though, so I'm going to say get my 50 most recent, get descriptions, get the full size version of each photo. Um, I don't think I need to do that, so that's cool. So anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and say get photos. And what's going to happen is because there's 50 photos coming in, I have no idea how long it's going to take. Uh, so I don't know that we're going to talk until that thing hits 50. And I'm not going to pause it, but what's going to happen is when it's all done, I'm going to be able to go back to my profile page and where I chose to add pictures before, I should see my pictures playing in there and I will be able to also edit inside there. You can always hit the edit button and um, decide how you want to show something. If you'd like to show them by thumbnails or by a slideshow or whatever. And again, they're all able to share as well. And you know what? I'm talking so long. If you want to hold out, I'll hold out with you. And we're almost at 50, so we might as well. So let's see if there's anything else. See, oh, and you can reach your all your, these are special links. You can go to all your photos. Um, you can make albums of your photos, um, your photos again. All photos is the whole network. Your albums, your photos, are all the, everybody's albums, everybody's photos. So some quick links there for you. And you can always delete things. You can always add other captions to them. You can edit things. So let's see what happens for this. Here we go. I'm excited because I haven't seen it. So I hope it works. Taking you to see your photo. It's going to actually switch us over. You're seeing all these extra edit buttons because, again, I'm signed in as me. Woo! There they are. Look, and it does. It brings in all the 
Yeah, there's my piggy on top of my air conditioning. Yeah, you'll have to read about that. Um, these are all from Instagram. These are things I do <laughs> through Instagram. So, see, you get choices. You can sort by latest, most popular, random, whatever you want to do. You can view them as a slideshow, whatever you want to do. So let's go to my page and let's just check really quickly. Did I need to save anything? I don't think so. But let me scroll down really fast. Just a quickie. Nope, just go to different pages. So let's go to... Um, I actually want to go to my page because I want to see what it's like on my page. What does that mean? Where did it put him? Did it put him in my photo player? That's what I'm curious about. And you guys know that your photo players, um, you can actually grab that code. You can actually post it on your website and stuff like that too. And I'll show you really fast. Let's see if it added them. It should have one to two. So where are those pictures? Oh, it hasn't come here yet. So I, I think it's going to. So I hope it does. Let's find out. I'm going to look in a minute. But you can always grab um, the key here. Let's see. Share. Pop out player. I'm looking for the embed code. I guess it's share. There it is. Uh, I wasn't thinking it was. But you can copy this. You actually can put it in a website too. And it will play. It will put that player that uh, of pictures. So you can use that anywhere. And um, it's awesome. You can change the size and everything, whatever you want to do. All right, so that's exciting. Let's go over to, I'm curious. You can stop it now if you don't want to keep watching this, but I'm going to click over to the main page. I want to see what happened by doing that. Our new thing here is, oh, look, we get a new member. Isn't that fun? Just from flipping through, we already got it. So um, this is brand new to on the site. We can post your activity right here and send it out to Facebook and Twitter. And that's where you connect that through your page, and that's in another thing I can show you. So let's just see. Let's go down to pictures. Again, you're seeing much more things than people see because I'm signing this me. Um, you can actually take this of all of ours and see. Let's see. Uh, to find out where those pictures are. I might take a minute to bring them in, I'm thinking, is what it is. So anyway, so there you go. Get your Flickr pictures in, and then you can share them and all. If they're just taking a minute to update on the side, I'm sure. Come by and check it out and see if they're here. Okay. Bye.